in this module we look at an animation of PCR reaction so so let's look at that okay let's look at our PCR animation here's our DNA as I mentioned that the first step in PCR is denaturing the DNA which means separating the two DNA strands we are going to break the hydrogen bonds in our cell the same function is done by helicase enzyme here in the machine PCR machine as I said is basically a fancy machine that regulates the temperature of the sample so first we are going to raise the temperature to 94 to 95 degrees and when that happens it allows the two DNA strands to separate and reveal the information which is basically the sequence of nucleotides in next stage the temperature of the sample is lowered to 50 to 65 degrees Celsius this is the temperature which allows the primers to bind to their specific or complementary sites in the DNA on the DNA molecule so now we are going to anneal the primers or make them hybridize with the DNA here are our primers so these primers they are complementary to the specific DNA nucleotide sequence which is present on our target DNA so both these primers are going to be extended when we raise the temperature to 72 degrees Celsius this temperature is ideal for the for the working of this enzyme it is most efficient at this temperature I should mention that this enzyme was isolated from a bacteria that grows at very high temperature uh, the name of the bacteria of course most people are familiar with is thermos aquaticus so we raise the temperature the enzyme becomes active here is our tag DNA polymerase the primers are extended here the three prime direction in the five prime to three prime direction we have extended our primers and primers have been incorporated into the new DNA molecule this is the region of interest this is the part of DNA that we want to make many many copies of in the next stage we will again repeat the cycle we go to the second cycle we denature the DNA we again lower the temperature 550 to 65 degrees Celsius the primers inhale we extend the primers and here the primers have been extended please note in two reaction two PCR reactions we have gone from one DNA strand to four DNA strands and however thus far we haven't specifically isolated we haven't specifically amplified or made many many copies of just the fragment of DNA that we want to this is cycle number two we have gone from one DNA to four DNA strands let's go to the third cycle when we go to the third cycle again we raise the temperature to 94 degrees Celsius all the DNA strands separate they are no longer uh, in a form of double helix we lower the temperature the primers bind their specific complementary sites on the DNA molecules we again raise the temperature and the DNA the primers have been extended and now we have eight DNA molecules this is exponential growth of DNA amplification of DNA note that in cycle number three this is the first time that we have specifically made the, the, the target DNA we have we now have a piece of DNA that we were interested in amplifying so this is cycle number three we have eight copies out of eight the two copies of DNA are the ones that we are interested in that is our region of interest we go to the fourth cycle we repeat the same procedure now we have in fourth cycle we have eight molecules of DNA which are the right size which is the right fragment that we wanted to amplify go to the fifth cycle it keeps on increasing the, the amount of DNA keeps on increasing exponentially let's look at the graph remember cycle number one we had not made any copies after cycle number one we had made two copies of DNA from one we had gone to two in cycle number two we had made four copies of DNA remember there is no target DNA copies present in second cycle it appears for the first time in the third cycle and we have two so let's go to the next cycle cycle number three remember we had two target copies and a total of eight DNA molecules in fourth cycle we had 
16 total copies of DNA and 8 target copies. Let's keep on going. So here we have our PCR reaction going on. We are 16, 17, 19, 20 and let's run it to 30 cycles. And after 30 cycles, we have more than a billion copies of the target DNA. It's a simple technique which has allowed us to go from one molecule of DNA, part of the same molecule has been amplified more than a billion copies of that particular fragment of DNA. So this is the power of this technique. Even if your sample contains very little amount of DNA, you can amplify it and detect for the presence of that particular DNA. How can this technology be used for human health and improving human society? We will look at that aspect in the subsequent modules. I hope you enjoyed the animation.